nature has a lot to teach us. Look at photosynthesis, which converts sunlight into energy and stores it in plants. What if we could mimic this natural process and artificially create fuel from the sun? Scientists are working on converting sunlight, water and carbon directly into sustainable fuel for our houses, transport and industries. Now, what if the whole photosynthesis process, from light capture to fuel production and storage, could be integrated into one single device? To solve this challenge, this EIC Horizon Prize offers 5 million euro for the best solution. From all received applications, three finalists were invited to demonstrate their prototypes. In July 2022, in Ispra, Italy, three international teams of scientists performed a 72-hour demonstration test of their solution to produce fuel from the sun. The first part of the challenge was to produce as much gas as possible. Here, certainly, it's a really good news, so we are happy to have a chance to run our machine and uh, split water into hydrogen and oxygen and then uh, we can even convert it into uh, methane. We have to submit application document. It covers how our machine will be a solution for solar energy recovery at very high efficiency. We have to save a lot of energy to survive low consumption of energy and that's probably possible. These processes are at a really experimental stage, so we don't know how efficient they are. We've seen they collected a gas, but then <laughs> you'll be right in asking, well, what, what's in the gas? We can't see anything. And so we have the laboratory who will do a composition analysis. So they'll come back and they can say exactly how much energy you can get per uh, unit volume of, of the gas that's being produced. And so that's another very important measure of the quality of the, uh, of the product. If we win, it's of course very happy, but if not, still it's a very good experience. This project was a unique opportunity to materialize the inflection of CEA towards uh, CO2 capture and utilization in a concrete way. Le méthane, c'est le carburant solaire qui aujourd'hui produit à l'intérieur de ce démonstrateur. Donc c'est vraiment construire un équipement où on part du soleil jusqu'à la production de méthane. We had surprise, of course. We had leaks also to overcome, but it's already a real success to have this device running and uh, we are very proud to be a finalist of the, of the contest. artificial leaves, the little solar panels that can do this chemistry to convert carbon dioxide to coat all the materials and that works under sunlight without any energy input. They are small, modular, so if one of them don't work, we can replace it. We would want to make similar solar panels, but which can convert uh, sunlight into fuels. It's really exciting uh, material that can be scaled in a large way at a very low cost. The main challenge is like how to make a very large samples. From this competition we have certainly learned a lot about potential problems we are facing in real world environment. So to move forward we will improve efficiency, stability and also the configurations of our demonstrator devices. There's a lot of potential I think to make a very significant contribution to the energy portfolio in the future. The final part of the competition was to see whether that you can actually burn the gas so it combusts. And the second was whether we could use that burning gas to drive the uh, Stirling engine, which is a small external combustion engine. But in any case, it was an excellent result getting to that point of creating a gas that would combust. 